My name's Jared, just an average guy who likes to ride bikes. Um, sometimes I decide that I want to race, but most of the time these days, you can usually find me commuting to and from work. And in a given year, I can do anywhere between about 5,000 to 6,000 miles. Well, last year, it became known to me that my favorite go-to training tire, the Maxxis Detonator, was actually discontinued, actually several years ago. And I found that out because I actually bought some counterfeit tires and didn't know it. And when I spoke to Maxxis, Maxxis was like, we haven't made detonators in like three years in the U.S. So I went online on the Maxxis website to look for a replacement tire, and I came across the Maxxis Refuse. So what I'm planning to do is go ahead and review these tires, take them, put them on the bike, run them, train them, uh, just run them into the ground, and then at the end of the season, let you know how they actually performed. So this is going to be looking at how durable the tires are with regards to their flat protection, and just overall, are they a good tire for you to buy to put on and commute, train, and you know ultimately just get in those extra miles that you need to get in. So here we have my training bike. It is a specialized uh, Ale 5. And here we can see that I've mounted the Maxxis Refuse 700 by 25C. They can inflate up to 120 max PSI, and they come with the max shield protection, which is an extra layer of puncture protection just to keep you protected, you know, from, you know, road debris and things like that. Um, we can look on here and we can see a little bit of, you know, the extra ridges of tread. Um, these tires have been on for maybe, call it like two days, so they've probably got about like 60 miles on them. If we come up and look at the front, um, you can see a lot of the same. So once again, you know, just that extra ridge of tread has not been worn off yet. And we can see that, you know, there's nice tread pattern and tread life. So the plan now is to basically go ahead and run the tires and then come back and give you two different updates. The first will be after all of that initial, you know, extra tread kind of runs off and just let you know about how long it took for that to actually happen. And then the last update will be where we'll actually take the tires off after they've run through the entire, you know, life or their season. I'm thinking maybe about, you know, 1500 to maybe 2000 miles if I'm lucky. But then we'll go through and we'll talk about how many flats I got, what they did with regards to, you know, durability and puncture protection, and just if they are an overall good tire that you should consider if you're thinking about getting a good training tire for you to go ahead and ride on your bike some time later what's up guys so it's been maybe about a month and a half uh just came back in from a ride uh as you can see still got my my kit on and everything like that um so like i said it's been about a month and a half it's july uh the tours are starting up so viva la tour but um wanted to come in and just check on the bike and let you all know, you know, what's kind of happened uh, with regards to tread wear and, you know, flats and all that good stuff. So let's take a look at the bike. So the bike has about 550 miles on it. And if we look at the back wheel, you know, we can see that the tread, you know, has worn down a little bit. You can get some, some details in there. One little cut right there that, you know, is uh, pretty deep. But other than that, you know, the tread, tread looks uh, very good. And then if we come up to the front of the bike, we can see, you know, good tread pattern. Um, I do have a little bit of uh, the little rubber still wearing off. So I've got more tread wear on the back than I do on the front. Just a little bitty, you know, cut right there. But for the most part, you know, the tires, uh, tires look really good. And like I said, this is with about 550 miles on it. So now the plan is just to, you know, finish out the season and keep on riding, you know, the, the bike. Um, until I start to have like a lot of flats and you know the tires are no good. Um, I doubt I'll get down to the cords. I've never worn my tires down to the cords. But um, just to keep on, you know, like I said, just uh, just riding it and then I'll report back and let you all know how many miles I got out of it, out of these uh, Maxxis Refue tires and uh, how many flats I had. Six months later. So this season ended up being a little bit light for me, but I still managed to do about 2,000 miles. So what is my overall impression of these Maxxis Refuse tires? Well, let's take a look at these four different categories. So with regards to durability, I'll probably give them about an eight out of a 10. So these tires are really, really durable. They have really long tread life. Um, they're a tire that's gonna hold up. If you're the type of person who only likes to say, maybe use two sets of tires in a season, you know, one during the summer and then one during the fall, these are pretty good tires for you to go ahead and pick. The next is gonna be weight. So I would give these probably about a four out of a 10. And I mean, that's kind of expected. These are training tires, they're not racing tires. You know, if you're looking to save grams and every little ounce, then, you know, these are not gonna be the tires that you're gonna wanna pick up and go and, you know, run in a crit or a road race or something like that. But they are very durable and, you know, yeah, they're gonna be a little bit heavier, but you're getting that 
puncture protection and that durability at the expense of having a little bit of extra weight. The thing that most everybody is probably watching this video for is flat protection. And I would give this a nine out of a 10. I was very happy with my Max's detonator tires. I used to be able to literally run them into the ground. And these tires, I got not a single flat the entire time that I rode this season. Now that's subjective, you know, I've had tires that I've put on brand new, gone out, run them and cut the sidewall in the first like 10 miles. And then I've had tires that I've gone and been able to run down all the way to the cores, you know, and been really impressed with these. But for these, as we can see, you know, the tread life was very, very good. You know, there were some cuts that I did get. There were some, you know, little punctures that I got. Some of them were pretty deep, but needless to say, I never once wound up flatting. So if you're looking for something to run like in here in Chicago, you know, where we get road debris, we get winter road debris, you know, we got all type of stuff. The roads may not necessarily be the cleanest. If you're looking for something to commute on or train on or have a very good durable tire, I mean, flat protection, hands down, I get these tires, you know, in a heartbeat. So that brings me to my overall review, which I would rate the Maxxis Refuse an eight out of a 10, as far as like, you know, a training tire. I think it's a very good tire. I'm also, I'm very pleased with it. And, you know, I think I found something to replace my beloved detonators after all of these years. So, hey, hope that this review was helpful. Hope that you got some good information out of it. Um, it's a little bit chilly right now. It's actually about to be spring. <laughs> um, but if you're looking for, you know, a good tire, a good training tire to pick up, something that's gonna last you all season and it's gonna hopefully give you, you know, good protection against flats, then go ahead and check out the Maxxis Refuse. Until next time.